right, welcome back everybody to another edition of Dollar Bin Digging Finds. I am slowly starting to transition this article from just being a Dollar Bin Digging Find to more of a cheap comic uh, pickup or cheap comic finds uh, article, kind of broadening my uh, my range of what I can look into. It That seems to be the general consensus from the feedback that I got based off of last week's uh, video and article. So I'm going to try to keep, uh, keep going this, keep going with this for a little while longer, as long as you guys are cool with it. So it's generally like a $5 or less kind of pickup, uh, kind of hunting list or, you know, pickups list that I have. Uh, I'm going to stretch that even a little bit further this week, but we'll get into that. I mean, hopefully you're liking this content and you're liking the article that I'm putting at comicbookinvest.com where, where you can read the picks that uh, I want to spotlight a little bit more. But I'm going to show you everything that I grabbed this past week in this pile. And if you're enjoying the videos, please like, subscribe, hit that alert button so you don't miss any of the content that I got dropping on the channel. We are slowly working our way up towards uh, 700 subscribers on our way to 1,000. And uh, every time I hit a you know a milestone 100, I give away some books. So uh, if we can get up to 700, which is hopefully soon, I think we're at like 660 or thereabouts right now, uh, we'll give away something else. I like giving away books. I got books to give away. So if you want them, tell your friends. So just hang on for one second, and I'll be right back with the stuff that I wasted my money on this week. All right, so normally this was and is a dollar bin pickups video, but once again, this week, I didn't actually pick up any dollar bin books. I just didn't. I just didn't hit those cheap boxes this week. Day job's been kind of busy. My hunting has been kind of limited. And what I've been looking through, it just hasn't been a dollar. Like, I found some $2 stuff. I found some cover price stuff. I found some cheap stuff. And I found some stuff online that I think is worth sharing. So that's what I'm going to show you. But no dollar bin books again this week. Uh, sorry. So I'm still kind of keeping with that general idea that everybody seemed to like, which is basically generally a $5 or less, you know, price point with these books. I'll tell you what they cost, whether it would be a dollar, two bucks, whatever it might have been. I'll let you know as we go through them, just so you have a general idea of what I'm picking up and uh, what you can kind of find out there. It's just, this is, again, just to give you guys ideas of uh, things to keep an eye out for when you're out there digging. I'm not just, uh, I'm not sitting here just trying to show off saying, hey, look, I found this $100 book for, you know, three bucks or whatever it might be. I mean, that's all well and great, but that's not going to happen for everybody. I just want to give you guys just some tools and some ideas to uh, to utilize when you're out there digging in boxes, whether they be dollar bin books, regular back issues, cover price, whatever boxes you have in your area. That's what you got to dig with, and that's what you got to work with. So I'm just trying to give everybody, everybody a fair shot to keep their minds open. Just remind you of things you might not be forgetting about. Everybody knows to try to look for, oh, I'm going to look for the books that were on the Hot 10 list this past week. Everybody's already doing that. Nobody's saying not to do that. Obviously, look for them, but you got to look for more than that. Because if you're just looking just for hot books like that, most days you're going to come up empty. So you got to open your mind to other ideas and look for other things outside of what's just been hot. Uh, you know, on that recent top 10 list. Just saying. So with that being said, we talked about some of these books on uh, one of the uh, CBSI Star Wars comic book shows uh, recently. I think it was like two weeks ago. And I got some Star Wars books. Now, the Star Wars books that I have, I bought online. And there's plenty of places you can still buy these things online where they're generally pretty cheap. They're not five dollars or less. Some of these I paid seven, eight bucks, but that's like cover price for these things. And I'm talking about these little digest sized uh, original content Clone Wars books. There's a lot of places you can still find these things uh, for not too much money. Yes, a lot of them on eBay might get start getting expensive depending on the issue, depending on what might be inside first appearances and whatnot. But there's some places you can still find this stuff. There's like used bookstores. Uh, there's Goodwill, the Goodwill website, there's Amazon, there's a lot of places you can still find some of this stuff if you're willing to gamble and take a shot, because not a lot of those places, it's not like eBay where they're sending you pictures, you're not everything's going to be near mint. But if that's not your biggest goal, then this might be an opportunity for you to still get some stuff cheap, because again, I bought a bunch, uh, not a bunch, I'm trying to fill out my run of these digest books that I don't have, and I got this one, this is the uh, the Star Cruiser Trap one, which I think it's got a couple of firsts that I do uh, 
like and this is a generally a nice copy i mean all in all like the corners are tight but in addition i ordered a second one from a different seller also i believe i got these on amazon uh this one's a hardcover and that's where i learned that these things also come in a hardcover uh version uh this is also a library edition so you can see the library stickers are on here there's a library stamp you know inside the book like i kind of dig that i think that's kind of cool to have like a used library edition book personally so i like these things i like to collect these things and again it's like seven eight bucks it's not the biggest cost in the world to me uh I i'm in for that price i think it's kind of cool so you can see it's the same book there's the trade paperback soft cover edition and then the hardcover uh one as well so these things are out there uh, i shared this on my instagram i felt i feel like i've talked about this a few times already i just talked about this a little bit on the uh star wars show that i just finished tonight it was a marathon two and a half hour episode that we do on sundays and i'm trying to squeeze this video in so i can get this out on monday for you guys to uh, you know read the article and check out the video and like i said i'm building out my set i'm almost there this is a brand new copy sharp sharp edges this is the mace windu cover of the colossus of destiny uh another one that i grabbed also in that same kind of price point that same kind of price range where it's basically again these are 7.99 covers uh cover prices if you would have bought them new when they came out in like 2012 i think somewhere thereabouts so that's what we're talking about they're still out there that you can still find them cheap and uh once again i bought this just expecting to get one of these trade paperbacks and i got another library edition hardcover this one for the uh strange allies edition again other first appearances in this and again i like these digest books because this is original star wars content these are reprints these are can well not, i don't want to say canon because this is the dark horse era but still these are original material and some of the first appearances of some important characters do take place in these little trade paperbacks because this is kind of what followed up the uh 12 issue Clone Wars run, uh, the one that gave us Ahsoka and Captain Wolf, you know, in those comics, those 12 issues after that, they kind of went to these digests to kind of finish up the storylines that they wanted to tell. Now, again, no dollar bins, but I did dig out a bunch of books that I paid cover for, which I know you go, oh, cover price, who cares? But these are some cover price books that you don't find for cover much anymore because they're just generally kind of tough to find and uh i got a nice run of uh scarlet witch if you can see the title card i like this run i was looking for it when wandavision was on yeah scarlet witch one again nice clean copy cover price uh you know with wandavision a lot of these things jumped in price it's a lot of these individual issues depending on the covers uh, and you know the print runs and rarity uh, some of these things are hitting 15 20 bucks each Again, that's not a huge, huge, uh, you know, price jump. But hey, if I can still find a twenty dollar book for four bucks that I want, so I don't have to pay twenty, so it's not a matter of, of I found this for four, I'm going to try to flip for twenty. It's a matter of if I wanted this and I had to pay twenty, but I only had to pay four because I found it in this box. This is why I'm happy in finding again. This is what issue two. Yeah. So one, two. It wasn't the full run. I was hoping it was the full run, but there's some holes in there. Four. This is a pretty cool cover. I love the trees aspect of that. It's got a nice little uh, framing quality. And I love the David Aja covers on these. This three color, you know, black, white, and red is just fantastic. Number five. Nice one with the sword there. Again, these were all just cover price, just in a back issue box. And uh, brought them up to the front. Just, yep, just cover. Number six. You get that nice little repetition. You get that kind of pattern kind of going. Definitely cool. No seven. I got number eight, puzzle pieces. Another good one. Again, these are some fantastically designed covers that I just really, really dig. And uh, I'm glad I didn't have to pay up uh, to get them. Number nine. Uh, I don't like how they switched over with the Civil War trade dress, but I do like the cover. If the cover was didn't have that Civil War business on there, I would have liked this a whole lot more. If it was just the regular trade dress, and uh, this image, I thought it would have been a lot cooler. But, hey, crossovers, you know, they do what they got to do. Ten is a tough one. Uh, that wasn't there, so somebody must have snuck that one out of the box already. But, hey, I'll take 11. Cool little gears. 
and uh, no 12, 13, and they had 14. 15 is the last issue of the run they didn't have, but I'm glad to grab the ones that I did because now there's less for me to go hunt, you know, to fill this thing out. Okay, not a lot, but still, that was a good 10 books. And even at cover price, you know, that still ends up getting pricey after a while. I mean, you get 10 books, you know, 10 books for uh, $3.99 a piece. You're talking 40 bucks there. So it wasn't a cheap purchase altogether, but individually, $3.99 cover uh, for some of these books that are, like I said, 15 to 20. I, may, I got myself a deal. Like I saved myself some money in collecting things that I wanted to collect. Yeah, anyway. Which is going to take us on to our uh, randomness portion. This is just everything else that I grabbed. There's some rhyme, there's some reason, but not really. Not enough to break these out into other categories. So I just threw them all into the randomness pile this week. And we're talking about Visionaries number three. Just another Visionaries book that I wanted to add to my run. I was pretty sure I didn't have it. There's only six, six issues in that whole run. And uh, not a hard one to complete, but it's still getting tougher these days. So I think I actually did pay a buck for that one, but... Uh, we're not going to hem and haw and say, oh, I got one book for a dollar. This was two bucks, and uh, I talked about this uh, a couple of times the last couple of weeks, and I found yet another one, another Perillo, Warlord of Mars. These Deja Thoris covers, I'm telling you, don't sleep on them. Issue 30 on this one. This one is like straight, this is almost like a straight out of Hellraiser. You can see like it's, it looks like a bit of bondage. There's some hooks that are into the skin. It's This is some gruesome stuff, realistically, but still pretty cool, and I do appreciate a good painted perillo cover personally a uh, couple of five dollar variants here i got this uh civil war two number one hip-hop cover homage to onyx i still remember my uh first onyx cassette tape that i bought and then my mom finding it and asking me what is this back to fuck up and I'm like yep that's exactly what it says mom don't worry about it Still pretty cool. Still pretty cool to find. Those hip hop covers are still out there. Yeah, hide away in some boxes. As are some of these weird uh, Thor goes to the movies. I guess was the theme for that month. Well, there's a lot of like movie poster homage covers featuring Thor. This one, New Avengers, that has a uh, this whole uh, Mrs. Robert, uh, Mrs. Robinson, uh, the Graduate thing with Enchantress. Uh, what is this number eleven? New Avengers number eleven. Weird. But yeah, five dollar variant. Again, that 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 same shop. I went back there to go check out to see if there's more stuff for me to to dig through and find. Uh, these next couple kind of go together. These first two are uh, two dollar books that I got. Pick up these are uh, Follow the Hulk's issue one, Jason Scott Campbell cover. Uh, I do like these. I found these a few times. I can sometimes find these in dollar bins. These do all right. I think it's a three issue cover set that connect. Uh, if you can find them, uh, I found again that was issue one, and here's issue two, which features a nice spotlight on She Hulk. You know, Campbell doing She Hulk, always nice, and you got him doing Hulk in the background, doesn't hurt. I think issue three has Red She Hulk and uh, Red Hulk, but uh, they only had one and two in the box for two bucks each, so I grabbed those two. I like I said, I found those sets a few times in digging through boxes, uh, personally over time. But good movies out of lake because I still got some more. Another Campbell. I had this one last week, and there was another one, so I grabbed another one. Cover price, uh, Thor number five. Campbell cover. This is, uh, I don't want to say it's first Lady Loki, but it is one of the first, one of the first depictions of Loki in a female body, which is Sif's, you know, in comics. So a lot of people do like this book. It is one I think is interesting to have. And to get, get it for cover price, I wasn't leaving it there. So I grabbed another one. Uh, a couple weeks ago on the uh, Totally Awesome Coolest Show Ever that I do with Marco on Wednesdays and we do live. Make sure you come check us out this Wednesday when we do uh, some He-Man books. But a couple weeks ago, we did Carnage covers in a, as part of our tier list. And then I happened to find these Carnage USA books, which I think was pretty cool. And uh, I went and grabbed these for cover. This is $3.99. Yep. Issue 3 of that run. I think it's a five-issue run as well. And uh, issue five, which is, you know, a nice patriotic carnage cover there. You can see that. Look at that. That's just pretty cool. So cover price. Uh, I know that number five definitely does uh, pretty well on the uh, aftermarket. 
not not a huge we're not talking again like uh, some big prices but yeah, maybe 20 bucks again but i don't have to pay 20 i paid four definitely happy with that find in that pickup uh up next another personal favorite of mine as you may well know at this point is adam hughes i like to collect adam hughes covers and i'm still slowly chipping away at my hughes wonder woman run and uh here are two issues this is issue number 190 and uh issue number 192 that i both needed again just pretty cool huge covers nothing iconic about these you just, just go towards the run just good art goes towards the run that i want and i paid cover which i believe was a uh, dollar 19 or 225 yeah 225 so fine fine with that i need them for my uh my collection it's a lot cheaper to pay something like that 225 in hand then uh, trying to find something on eBay where you might have to pay, you know, five, eight bucks, and then you got to pay shipping. And a book that I could get for two twenty-five ends up costing like twelve bucks. You know, after all is said and done with taxes and shipping, so definitely happy to find uh, these uh, books in the cheap boxes uh, for cover. And then my last two, I took a shot on this one because I thought this would be more, but apparently it doesn't do anything. I don't know. It caught my eye. This was a. Three dollars, I think. Yeah, I think it was like three dollars. Sunfire and Big Hero Six, number three. I was like, all right, Big Hero Six. That's and they didn't make a lot of comics for Big Hero Six. And this Sunfire and Big Hero Six, I think it was like a four issue series. That's got to be all right. It's got to be pretty good, but apparently it isn't. I think it's like issue one is the only one that uh, that does well. So hey, eh, took a shot for three bucks. Sometimes you take a sh you, know, you take a shot and you you don't hit the mark. It, it, it is what it is. But I'm not complaining. It still was only three bucks. It's not like I took a $20 shot and missed. Like, when you're talking about cheap books like this, sometimes just go off of your gut. My gut told me this could have been something, and I was wrong. You're not going to be right every time. I'm not right every time. Nobody's right every time. You take a shot. Sometimes you hit, sometimes you miss. But when you're playing at these lower levels, it's a lot easier to stomach when you miss. That's all I'm saying. And then the last thing that caught my eye, and I did pay a dollar for this because that was the price that was marked on it, and this is a uh, Midnight Suns ash can. I like ash cans. This is that kind of weird stuff that I like digging out of dollar boxes. And this was just in the regular back issue box, but it was marked a dollar, so I picked it up uh, for that price because that's what it was marked. And, and again, this yeah, this doesn't look, do like a ton. I think it's like eight to maybe fifteen uh, online. But I think we might see something with the Midnight Suns. I think Marvel might start building out a horror corner of their little universe, and maybe we get these guys teaming up at some point. Maybe I'm wrong. doesn't matter. For a buck, again, I'll take that shot. Yeah, not a lot of uh, not a lot invested in it. Still pretty cool to me. So hopefully you enjoy that. That's all I got this week. Again, not quite dollar books, cheap books, I guess, because I'm looking at these at like cover price and lower, basically. And that's what we're talking about here. And a couple of $5 variants mixed in. Just stuff that's not going to break your wallet or break your back to buy. And this is the stuff that I bought. Not stuff that you're going to find exactly when you're out hitting those boxes. But again, it's just to give you ideas of things to think about when you're digging. Because you might go in with a plan where you want, again, find those hot books of the week. But you're not always going to find them. So when you don't find them, what else are you going to look for while you're digging? Because you don't always that trip to the shop and come home with nothing. You want to get something, right? So these are just some books to keep an eye out for. It hopefully spurs some other thoughts in your head uh, to, of other things you can look for, whether they be for your own personal collections or for things that might make you a few bucks as well that you didn't know sell for more than uh, just that dollar or cover price. So again, hopefully you're enjoying this. Please like, subscribe, hit that alert button so you don't miss any of the content on the channel. And I will see you guys you know, next time.